Today I thought I'd make a video just a little different than my norm. I'm in the kitchen today. My wife is out visiting a friend. Prime opportunity for me to make this video entitled Mary's Teapots. Showing you this first part of the video just explains the second part of the video or my reason for creating the second part of the video. As you can see, my wife has a lot of teapots laying around. Got them stuck in every little cubby hole you can find. In fact, she's run out of places to put them all. That's the reason for the second part of the video, as you'll soon see. Being from the South, I do drink a lot of tea. Iced tea, that is. I can't remember the last time I drank any hot tea, but I sure got the hardware around here to make some with if I ever want any. Well, today I'm out here in front of the garage. I thought I'd take a minute and show you a project I've been working on. What it is, is an old gun cabinet. I bought it in an auction for two dollars. Thought I would be economical and remodel it for keeping my wife's teapots on. I'm going to have to put some shelves in it. And I'm not going to bore you with the details of my amateur carpenter work, but I'll show you a little bit about what I've been doing. I disassembled it first and took the backing off of it. I've already stripped the stain and old varnish off of it. It's in the garage and so is the drawer that goes in and took off the legs. I haven't stripped them yet. I can't do this sanding in the garage. It's sand, sawdust and everything get all over my wife's car. Plus I'd have to clean out the garage again. But that'll give you an idea of what the color of the old ugly thing was. It's not an expensive cabinet. It's just old poplar and plywood or something that somebody built. But I thought I'd document a little bit of what it looks like now. And I'll make another clip later on. You can see I'm still sanding. Got all the stain. I've got all the varnish and stuff took off of it. But inside that bottom there, places for rifle butts to sit. I'm going to use the bottom for one of the shelves, it's going to have four tiers to it. I was trying to get by with materials I already had on hand, but I've had to go out and buy a piece of wood for the shelves. It cost me $12, more than I paid for the whole cotton picking cabinet. Got a piece of old veneer here that I stripped and sanded down, took the varnish off of it last night. It's basically going to be glued in the bottom right there. Then I'll have four shelves in there, ten inches apart. I'm down to the bare wood. I've already sanded everything except the legs and where I'm going to glue that piece of veneer down. And I'm not going to bore you with the details of actually watching me do my carpentry work. I just use hand tools. Got a couple. I got a skill saw and some other power tools. I'm not much of a cabinet maker. I think it's going to come out looking pretty good. Here's the legs laying over here. I haven't stripped them yet. I'll show you another clip of it after I'm done. Wish me luck on how this thing comes out. Oh, on the cabinet? This thing must have had glass panels in it at one time. It's got grooves right here towards the front all the way around. But you won't see them. On, I'm going to cover them with molding. Then we'll get back to working and the next clip you'll see will be farther down the line on my construction of this teapot cabinet we're going to call it. 